Hello once again, my dear students in this classroom. Thank you so much for dropping by for this new lecture. So this afternoon, we are going to talk about students' diversity. This is a very crucial topic, especially for those who want to become teachers in the future. Okay, so in this particular lesson, we are going to have the following lesson objectives. Number one, identify different factors that bring about diversity in the classroom. Demonstrate a positive attitude towards diversity as an enriching element in the learning environment. And come up with teaching strategies that consider students' diversity. Remember that you will become future teachers, you will be teachers in the future. And one consideration that you have to put in your mind is the challenge brought about students' diversity in a classroom. So our premise for this lesson is that no two individuals are exactly the same. In Filipino, we are going to say, walang dalawang, magka walang dalawang tao or individual na eksaktong-eksaktong magkapareho. So, even if they are twins, no, kahit mag-ina or mag-ama, yung twins mismo, meron at meron silang pagkakaiba because everyone's unique. No? We are created uniquely. And uh, being different from each other is brought about by two characteristics. No? Meron tayong dalawang characteristics na nag-iiba, okay? nagpapaiba sa atin mula sa iba. That is why no two individuals are exactly the same because of this following. Well, number one is the physical characteristics. So, we are different uh, individuals because of the color of our skin. No? Our hair color, the shape of our eyes, our nose, our height, the weight, gender, age, socioeconomic class, occupation, and others. So, we are different in th these many ways, no? So, kahit sabihin mo parehas silang kayo manggi, pero hindi naman parehas sila ng size ng ilong. So, walang, walang talagang magkaparehas. Or, even if we say that there are two individuals who are exactly the same with these physical characteristics, but still, they will be different because of these invis invisible characteristics that we have here. The behavior, decision made, words spoken. So, walang taong magkaparehas magkaparehas ang ugali, no? Walang taong parehas sa parehas ang magdesisyon or magreasoning. And the way you talk, okay? The words that you speak, there's always difference. That is why in a classroom, it is very impossible that there are two first honors, no? Hindi pwede magre-reklamo ang magulang kapag may dalawang first honors. Na magkaparehas na magkaparehas. Kahit sabihin mo kasi parehas sila ng ano, score. Intellectually, they are the same. But there's always different, maybe in their behavior, in their decision making, in the words, in the way, or how they speak. No? So, it only prove that there are, no, there, are, there are no two individuals that are exactly the same. Okay, so if we talk about diversity, we have to we have to bear in mind, no two individuals are exactly the same. Walang dalawang individual na parehas na parehas at magkaparehong magkapareho. Now, what is diversity? Okay, we tend to talk about diversity everywhere, and especially in this particular lesson, we are going to talk about students' diversity in a classroom. Sa loob ng classroom mismo. Huh? Yung pagkakaiba-iba ng mga estudyante na tuturuan mo. So, this is a challenge actually for future teachers. no? Since we came from different tribes, especially here in Vizcaya, we came from different places, from different tribes, we speak different languages, no? Okay? We have different cultures, different beliefs. So, we have to learn this, the diversity inside the classroom, so that we will know, we might know how to adjust. We might know how to make 
some strategies that would cater to each and every student needs diversity. Okay. So if we say diversity, it comes from that Latin word divertera, which means to turn away, lumayo, separate, huiwalay, oppose, kumontra. Okay. So, walang parehas. Okay. Lalayo ka. Pag sinabing diversity, magkakalayo, magsiseparate, magkakakontra. Diba? So, walang parehas na parehas. Meron at meron silang pagkakaiba. Okay. So, according to Collins Dictionary, diversity is the state or quality of being different or varied. Okay. Being different or varied. Kakaiba. Magkaiba. Okay. A variety or assortment. A point of difference, the inclusion of people of different races, genders, religions, etc. in a group. So, if we say inclusion, yung pagkakasama, pagkakasali, pagkaka-welcome, inclusivity. No? You include everyone, you embrace everyone, no matter the races, okay? the gender is, the religion, etc., etc. Okay? The relation that holds between two entities, when... And only when they are not identical. Okay. The property of being numerically distinct. So, no two, I, no two entities are different. They are always... Uh, there are no en two entities that are the same, I would rather say. But, entities or individuals are different from each other. Meron at meron silang pagkakaiba. Okay. According to UNESCO in 2017, people's differences which may relate to their race, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, language, culture, religion, mental and physical ability, class and immigration status. So, diversity are differences between people that may relate to their race. Ang kanilang lahing pinagmulan. The ethnicity, okay, your sexual orientation, your gender, the language that you speak, our culture, the religion, the mental and physical ability. So, we are different in this, you know, because of these factors. The class, okay, mayaman, mahirap, okay, sexual orientation, no? the LGB LGBTQ, they are different. From, from us, the ethnicity, some are Ifugao, some are Kalanguya, some are uh, Itneg, some are Bontox, some are, and many others, no? So, these factors brings differences among people, okay? And you should bear that in mind that this diversity, which is brought by these factors, is a serious problem. In a classroom, if the teacher would not know how to handle a classroom with different uh, students coming from different races, different cultures, different places, different languages, different religions. Because religion is a factor here too, right? Okay. Hindi siya pare-parehas ang paniniwala. May mga naniniwala nga. Sabi nga nila, we are, they are religionless. No? May mga naniniwala lang sa, naniniwala lang sila sa kapangyarihan lang nag-iisang kumokontrol sa universo, no? Some have their preferences, okay? Which they call religion. Like we have the we have the we have the Roman Catholics, we have the Protestants, the born again, etc., etc. So, we should know about them, no? How to handle these people coming from different religions. Their mental and physical ability some are fast learners, some are not. So, how are you going to handle a class? Okay. Maring sabihin pa natin, paano pag nadagdagan pa ng persons with special needs ang klase mo, di ba? So, you see, there are lots of consideration. Now, what are the factors that bring about a student diversity? Of course, we have a lot of factors that brings about a student diversity in a classroom. And number one, of course, is the socioeconomic status. So, it says here that the millionaire's lifestyle differs from that of the middle income or lower income. Of course, there is a big difference 
between the lifestyle of a millionaire's daughter or a millionaire's child that of the poor okay or in the middle earner in a classroom you can easily determine who are the students who can afford and those who can't okay so how are you going to how are you going to set a classroom that would cater to these students coming from different socioeconomic status no there are some issues or there are, yeah there are some concerns in a classroom especially um when you talk about socioeconomic status or especially in elementary or in ang tawag natin dito there are lots of parents who who love to give gifts to the teachers no especially during special occasions of course there is no problem about this but if the gifts becomes ano suhol di ba nagiging suhol na yung regalo uh, nagiging masama na that is why parang ipinagbabawal na yata na magbigay ang mga parents sa mga teachers um kahit kasi uh, kahit kasi sabihin natin na it's just a simple gift But of course, not all parents can afford, di ba? So, um, to avoid issues, to avoid issues on favoritism, uh, hindi na lang tumatanggap ang guru ng mga regalo, okay? Not unless it comes from their students, like flowers during Teacher's Day, okay? But things like, you know, mga regalo galing sa mga medyo may kaya, parang, parang kasing ano, parang nagiging unfair ito sa iba. And even their, the even their ano, even the way they they act, magkakaiba sila. Um, the millionaire's daughter have a lot of time to read. Okay, they are exposed to different places. Okay, of, and of course, this here comes the student coming from the lower income group. No, they have no opportunity to travel. Okay, they work. Okay? Instead of reading the work. So, magkaiba ng performance. Okay? Magkaiba ng performance. But, again, it does not define you as a student. Okay? The social economic status. It only defines the diversity, but it does not define you as a student. Because even if you come from a lower income group, if you really work hard, then you will be better than those who are well off. Okay? So that is one factor leading to diversity, the socioeconomic status of the students. Another one is the thinking, learning style, thinking and learning style. So some of you learn better by seeing something. Okay, some some are visual learners, no. Others are by just listening and still others by manipulating something. So others can see and they learn already. Others needs to l- hear the facts and others just do it gagawin nila they manipulate things or something they are outcomes based no so in a classroom there are different types of learners okay others may others may opt listening to you as you explain the lesson others may opt to read the book or others want to recite and discuss it with you okay So you have to what you call this one you have to welcome each of your students in terms of their own thinking and learning styles. Okay. So thinking and learning style also is a factor that brings us the diversity in a classroom. Kaya sila magkakaiba-iba kasi magkakaiba sila ng learning at teaching or learning and thinking styles. Another one, of course, is uh, this is important also that you have to consider exceptionalities. Exceptionalities. So in class, there may be one who has difficulty in spoken language, comprehension, or in seeing, hearing, etc. So exceptionalities, we can also relate this one with the word disability, you know, or the, the, the students with the special needs. Okay. Because in the Philippines, um, We have what you call the inclusivity in education, no? Where everyone, where everyone is accepted in a normal classroom. So even these students have uh, disabilities or special needs, we tend to accept them in a normal classroom because we believe that education is for all and it is inclusive of everyone, no matter the students' 
condition or situation is. No? So, in the class, there may be some who are hard up in speaking. No? That is exceptionality. Some may, ha some may not see if they are seated at the back. Some may not hear. Okay. Some may have physical disability. How are you going to handle this classroom of these types of students enrolled? Okay. So, you have to strategize again. So, alibawa, hindi siya nakakakita. Paupuin mo siya sa harap. So, again, the most important thing here is to know well your students. Know their needs. No? You have to ask them. You may ask their parents also. Or you may ask the previous advisors. No? So that at least you know how to adjust. Because you are the teacher, you have to adjust in the classroom. Adjust to your students. No? It's not the students who would adjust to you. You have to reach out. Okay? You have to reach out. If you want to if you want that the teaching and learning process would go smoothly, and then these students would learn and change, no? Then you have to adjust. Okay. You have to consider that this uh, the diversity comes in a classroom because of the socioeconomic status, the difference in teaching and learning pro uh, teaching and learning strategies, and of course exceptionalities. You have to consider this. Again, also you have to consider these factors and you have to adjust, you have to strategize in order to um, avoid uh, offending. Okay, or hurting your students. Okay. Maging ano sana tayo? Maging daluyan sana tayo ng pagiging successful ng isang estudyante kahit pa siya ay exceptional. Okay? Dahil sa tinatanggap natin siya at binibilang nating normal at hindi abnormal sa klase. So, you have to embrace diversity. Embrace diversity through inclusivity. Meaning to say, Accept everyone, include everyone. In, in the strategies that you are going to design, be sure that these activities can be what participated by everyone in the classroom. It's not only for a group of students, but for everyone. That is what you call inclusivity in education. Okay. How is student diversity enriches the learning environment? So, it says here that students' diversity enriches, pinagyayaman nito yung learning environment natin. Kaya naging masaya ang classroom dahil sa diversity, dahil sa pagkakaiba-iba. Diba? Can you imagine a classroom that have the same students? No? Pero, it's very impossible kasi nga sabi natin, the premise is that no two individuals are exactly the same. So, student diversity would make a rich learning environment. It enhances, it enriches the learning environment, your classroom, okay? So, a student's self-awareness is enhanced by diversity. A student's self-awareness. So, exposing students to others with diverse backgrounds and experiences also serves to help students focus on their awareness of themselves. So, you try to expose a child in a different environment, no? And you will see that uh, the students would change. No? There would always be change. He will be aware of his or her weaknesses. Okay? Weaknesses, pwede rin naman yung kalakasan niya. No? Exposing these students to others would help them enhance, would help them be aware, okay? Of them or of themselves, no. Ay, pagaling palaka mag drawing. Mula nong ginawa ako ng leader don sa activity namin. So you try to expose each student in a certain activities that would enhance their capabilities. Then you will you will see, no, that every student is exceptional. Every student is special. Every student has a special ability. Okay. Do not just concentrate on a group of intelligent students. Remember, walang isang taong may-ari ng lahat ng dunong, no? Malay mo, yung isang estudyante yung tahimik, siya pala yung napakadunong kumanta, napakadunong mag-speech. Or he can lead a group. Okay? So, be sure to expose your students. So that, uh, the diversity in a classroom will not be a problem because everyone is involved, no? A student's diversity should not be a problem, actually. But it should enrich the learning environment.
Okay? So that diversity contributes to cognitive development. So when, when the students are exposed, the cognitive development is being improved. No? It says here, the classroom is peculiarly the marketplace of ideas. Okay? You will learn a lot in a classroom. Why? There are lots of minds. There are a lot of ideas. No? People tend to speak their mind and you learn from them. So it's just a marketplace of ideas. The depth and the breadth of student learning are enhanced by exposure to others from diverse backgrounds. Okay. Remember, this is a student and he has another 30 classmates coming from different races, different backgrounds. So this student would learn from each of your other students. And you also, as a professor, would learn from them. And they will learn from you. That's, of course, given. No? They have to learn from you. That is why I always tell you that in teaching, you do not just teach the pages of the book. No? That is not your main goal. But also, you try to teach them how to live their life. No? Teach them about life. Teach them about truth. Teach them about humanity. That is very important. Teach them how to serve the country. Okay, Using the facts that they have learned from the book and from you okay of course they cannot serve the country without no any knowledge no but again you have to put in their minds or expose them with uh, a diverse environment so that when they get out from the classroom okay they can easily adapt to the outside world Okay. Students' diversity in the classroom brings about different points of views and varied approaches to the learning process. So, students' diversity in a classroom brings different points of view. No? As I've been saying a while ago, your students, your one student is exposed to other 30 classmates with different points of view. And then, everyone would learn from each one so it is a marketplace of ideas so be sure that these ideas are processed example there is there is a there is an issue that you're talking in your classroom okay and they are debating they are debating you have to process it the reasoning of the other group plus the reasoning of the other group you have to amend it they have to come in amendment okay of course there is no wrong or right if it comes to ideas of a certain topic or certain issue, but you have to you have to resolve it. You know, that each one, each opinion is correct. But at the end of the day we have to choose. We have to choose which is better. Are we going to believe this one or this one? Are we going to live by this or by that? Okay? So you have to facilitate learning. That is very important. Facilitate learning. Inspire them to speak themselves. You no. Know? Okay, so as a classroom with diverse students would would mean a very good marketplace of ideas, no? Kasi ang dami-dami. No? Para pagpunta ka sa palengke, ang dami mong pwedeng mabili. Ganun din sa classroom. Mas maraming estudyante, mas marami, mas marami ka matututunan kasi mas maraming utak ang gumagana. Okay, another one, number three is, students' diversity prepares learners for their roles as responsible members of the society. This is what I'm telling you. You are teaching your students and preparing them to become a responsible members of the society, if not leaders of the country. It's very important. So, uh, a student's diversity, while they are learning from each other, would improve their personality. And maybe from that class, you will be producing a leader. Okay, or everyone would become a responsible member of the society, and that is, that is an, uh, that is a fulfillment of a teacher actually. No? The capacity to imagine situations or problems from all perspectives and to appreciate all aspects of diversity. The classroom can provide more than just theory given by the teacher in a lecture. With the students' diversity, the classroom becomes a public place where community can be practiced. So. It's the teacher would give you all the facts, all the theories, but you are being taught also on how to act, okay. how to take action. So, the diversity in a classroom would mean a bigger community, no? different classmates, different community. Why? Because 
As I said, these individuals are coming from different races, different cultures, different places, different religions, language, etc., etc. And it makes a community. No? Gumagawa ito na isang maliit na pamayanan sa loob ng eskwelahan kung saan natututo kayo sa bawat isa. Ano? So, you will learn to appreciate that diversity would give you a greater opportunity to become better person. No? Since you are learning from each one. No? Ang, ang problema kasi dito, kung hinihiwalay mo ang sarili mo. Okay? You remember that we have what you call the word inclusivity again. No? Siguro, mas madaling bigyan ng solusyon kapag hinihiwalay mo ang sarili mo because you can be motivated by a classmate or the teacher. Ang mahirap dito kung teacher mismo yung naghihiwalay sa isang estudyante. Right? Well, we have to accept it or not. There are, there are teachers who are like this. No? Na, na, may isang o grupo o may isang individual na napapabayaan sa classroom. So, being a teacher also, guys, being a future teacher, you should be uh, very observant, keen observer. Meaning the same, just by looking to the eyes of your students, you know their needs. Okay? You know kapag may pinagdadaanan sila. Okay? So that you could help them. No? Remember that to become or to prepare someone to become a responsible member of the society, someone should start within themselves. Teach them that. I always tell this in my class. No, Teach or inspire students to number one is to face themselves. No? Harapin ang sarili. Accept themselves, love themselves, and then they speak themselves. No, These are four key elements. No, To become a responsible member of the society, you have to start within, within your own self. Okay. Next one, students' diversity can promote harmony. Harmony. Okay. Sabi na, ang ganda-ganda naman ng harmony. Yeah. Ang gandang pakinggan yung kanta. Diba? Very harmonious naman yung relationship nila. Okay. So, if you say harmonious, okay, is smooth. No? Walang away. Walang nagkukontrahan. Walang nag-uumpugang opinion. Meron man ay nag nagiging daluyan lang ito ng pagkatuto ng bawat isa. Pero hindi sila gaaway. Okay? So, when the student's diversity is integrated into the classroom teaching and learning, it can become a vehicle for promoting harmonious race relationship. Harmonious race relationship. Race. Remember, you can accept or you can, you can build a harmonious race relationship if you start to respect the culture or the race of your classmate. It starts with respect. No. A student's diversity can be appreciated if everyone knows how to respect the individual differences of each and every member of the classroom. Race relationship. No. Even if you are an Ifugao coming from the barrio, a Kalanguya coming from Kayapa, okay? uh, an Ibaloy coming from somewhere, and then here comes a group of group of students coming from pag sinasabi nating sentro no coming from the town okay they are more exposed okay and then here comes the students coming from the nearby barrio so in order to in order to have this harmonious race relationship we have to embrace them we have to accept them and we have to again respect them we have to respect that some students chew beetle nut okay some students speak their language and they have regional problems. Do not laugh at them. No. Respect. If you do this, then the students' diversity, the, the topic or the, the issue or yeah, about the students' diversity can become a good no, it can, it can become a good reason or become a good vehicle for a harmonious relationship. Okay? Specifically race relationship. So, some tips on a student's diversity. Okay. Ito ay pwede nating ano, pwede nating gawin sa classroom or pwede na, yeah, pwede nating gawin as teachers so that we could ano, we could encourage uh, em, uh individual differences in a classroom, we could encourage embracing each okay, diversity. Embracing each one. Okay? So that a student's diversity in a classroom would become a vehicle in a harmonious relationship. Okay. 
encourage learners to share their personal history and experiences. So, you know, um, as, to, uh, as a teacher, you, have, you should have the ability to observe and you have the ability to question and you have the ability to make follow-up questions. Okay. If you want these students to open up, then siguraduhin mo na nakikita nila sa iyo na napagkakatiwalaan ka rin. Okay. And you know how to play with the questions so that at the end of the day, they will open up. Okay. Knowing their personal history and experiences would help you design the classroom in terms of in terms of the lesson, in terms of motivation, in terms of assessment, in terms of teaching strategies. These are important, no? Without knowing your students, you can hardly strategize. I'm telling you this. You have to know your students first. So, students will be made to realize that they have something in common with the rest. They also differ in several ways. So, ayan mo sila mag-open up. Halimbawa, ang, ang usapin ay tungkol sa wika, magkakaroon sila ng mga sharing tungkol sa kasarisariling wika. And at the end of the day, they will gonna realize, oh, we are the same with that group. But we are different in so many ways too. Okay? Ito naman yung gusto mong ipaintindi sa kanila. So, you have to learn or motivate also your students to share their history and their personal experiences with their classmates. Okay? This will help them understand each other, and they will learn from each other. Integrate learning experiences and activities that promotes students' um, multicultural and cross-cultural awareness. So, it says here that encourage or initiate co-curricular experience that are aimed at promoting diversity awareness. Let students interview other students on campus who are from diverse backgrounds. So, this can be activities that you can give to your students, no? Invite students to in internet discussion, groups, or emails, no? Ask students if they have ever been the personal target of prejudice or discrimination and have them share their experiences. So, these are, ano, these are types of activities that you could, ano, you could motivate in a classroom so that, Everyone could share. So, integration. Whatever the topic is, you have to know how to integrate, okay, sharing their learning experiences. Through this, you will come across some strategies again and again and again, paulit-ulit kong sinasabi, that would be very effective in the teaching and learning process. You have to involve your students. Ask everyone. Let everyone share. Do not stop. No? Motivate them to share their experiences so, since integration of actually promotes no it promotes learning no hindi naman dahil ang topic mo ay the x and y ay puro x and y x and y na lang sa isang oras you can actually integrate it with life integrate it with culture etc etc you find ways sabi nga nila ang ang teacher daw ay parang bangko okay they find ways yeah Okay, aside from highlighting diversity, identify patterns of unity that transcends group differences. Every human is, at the same time, like all other humans, like some humans, and like no other human. Sino sabi nito? Pare-parehas tayo, pero may pinagkaiba tayo sa iba. Okay? We are all humans. Okay? We are all like other humans. Sumihinga tayo. May buhay tayo. Like some humans, may iba na kapareho natin, no? Kapareho natin ng race, kapareho natin ng language, kapareho natin ng religion, kapareho ng height, ng size ng katawan, and like no other human, but wala tayong katulad. We are different, no? Nagets niyo ba? That is diversity that you have to accept and embrace and understand so that in a classroom, you can manage this issue on diversity easily. Okay? We are all the same in different ways. Pare-parehas tayo sa magkakaibang paraan. No? Magkakaibang paraan. Magkakaparehas tayo. So maybe we are we are the same in eyes, the, the same the way of thinking, but we are different in the way we speak, the way we explain. Okay? The way we handle stress, stress, no? So we are the same in different ways. 
communicate high expectations to students from all subgroups. Subgroups. Communicate high expectations. Meaning, make a conscious attempt to all call to to call on or draw in students from diverse groups by using effective questioning techniques. This is what I'm telling a while back. Questioning technique of a teacher is very important. I specifically in teaching in teaching your lessons, no. If you want your students to participate or recite, you have to develop an effective questioning techniques. No? Eh, hindi niya nasagot yung unang tanong mo. Paano mo ngayon siya mapapasagot? No? So, nasa, sabi nga nila, ang isang classroom daw kung bakit masaya at bakit maingay at nagre-recite lahat kasi marunong ang teacher talagang mag-question. No? Eh, pag hindi, si teacher nagtanong to sinagot niya, o di siya na ang bida. Diba? So, you have to motivate your students to participate through your question and techniques. So, you have to allow every student to communicate with you in your class. Okay? Through this, you will learn or you will know them better. Learn the names of your students, especially the foreign names that you may have difficulty pronouncing. Ako naman, it's not only the names that I'm interested in. Interesado din ako sa afiliado. Of course, I'm, I came from an ethnic group. I'm an Ifugao. That is why I can, ano, I can easily determine if the student is coming from the Cordillera also. Okay. It's because of the name or the, yeah, the family name. No? Pag katunog ng apiliado ko, alam ko na agad na kalahi ko. And then tinatanong ko na agad. And teachers tends to memorize these students who have unique name. No? So, you have to memorize your students. Hmm? At the same time, you have to know them better. Dig deeper so that you will understand and teach them better. Use varied instructional methods to accommodate student diversity in learning styles. So, use varied instructional methods. Do not use a single method. Why? Using single method would not accommodate your students' diversity because magkakaiba nga sila. E baka ito, effective sa kanya yung ganitong metodo. Yung isa naman, hindi. So, what should you do? You have to make variations. Kumamit ka ng madami at varied no, na methods so that you will accommodate each and every student. Hmm? Especially if you're teaching in the elementary. No? Na, uh, kids are coming from different family backgrounds, no? you have to vary your instructional methods. And at the same time, using a single method is very boring. Okay? So in order to make your teaching effective, okay, you have to use different instructional methods. And at the same time, using varied instructional methods would accommodate student diversity. Okay? So, vary the examples you use to illustrate concepts in order to provide multiple contexts that are relevant to students from diverse backgrounds. Again, this is in support with my first statement a while back about variations in the, the teaching method, no? So, you have to vary the examples, okay, that you use in every subject matter, no? Hindi yung puro na lang libro. Why, why don't you, ano, make variations, Okay, ariin mo yon and then gumawa ka ng sarili mong examples that would accommodate or that could uh, re be relatable to each student of, well, diverse classroom. No? Mga estudyante mo na galing sa iba't ibang mga kultura, iba't ibang wika, etc., etc. Makaka-relate sila sa halimbawa na ipapamigay mo. No? It seems true with assessment, no? You try to design some assessments and methods also, strategies that would that would enhance and accommodate your students' diversity. It's very important, no? As a teacher, you have to think critically and globally and you have to be very vigilant and observant on your students' needs in the classroom. Adapt to the students' diverse backgrounds and learning styles by allowing them personal choice and decision-making opportunities concerning what they will learn and how well they will learn from it. That is why it says here that the goal of, the goal of teaching, the goal of you, the, your goal as a teacher is to teach students to learn on their own, in their own face, on their own, what do you call this one? 
in their own time, in their own ways, okay, in their own strategies and methods, okay. So, adapt yourself to these students' diverse backgrounds, and allow these students to uh, participate in all their activities. At their own, what you call this one, at their own strategies also. At their own time, at their own phase. But you have also to control these students, no? You have to be very, what you call this, observant also. If these students are just playing or they are serious. No? Bigyan mo sila ng kalayaan pero siguraduhin mang natututo sila. Okay. Give them opportunity to learn. Give each one an opportunity to participate. So, if you need to give them more time to finish their activities, then do it. For as long as surely they will do the activity. Okay, so, different backgrounds, you have to embrace it. You have to embrace it. Understand them better. Okay? Diversify your methods of assessing and evaluating students' learning. Oh, I have said this a while back about assessment, no? So, um... It says that you have to vary your, vary your method, vary your examples, the examples that you're giving to, to each class, no? And here, you have also to vary or diversify your methods of assessing, no? Some students would prefer the pen and pencil, no? Written, no? Some would prefer outcomes-based or the output-based, the process-based, no? No? They might want to dance. They might want spoken poetry. Instead of writing the poem, they might want to recite it. They might want to write an essay about the topic instead of giving them fill in the blanks type of exam. So you have to vary, okay? You have to diversify your assessment technique. Why? So that your class would not be boring, okay? And then you will develop these students holistically, not just by writing their answers, memorizing, no? Remember, hindi naman lahat puro memorization, puro recall, no? You teach them also how to do it, how to process things, okay? So, output-based, outcomes-based, give them this type of assessment also, aside from the paper and pen method. Okay, so, purposely, form small discussion groups of students from diverse backgrounds. You can form groups of students with different learning styles, different cultural backgrounds. So, if you are giving an example, an assessment activity, which is a group activity, be sure to distribute your students. Okay, maybe in your first attempt of a group activity, allow them to choose their own group mates. And let, later on, with your observation on their differences, you may distribute your students into groups. Example, these five students are the, are the most intelligent in the group. No. So, what should you do? You have to distribute them. Okay. If your activity is on dance, and you have five students who, are re who can really dance well, they can manage, they can lead, no? They can teach dance steps. You have to distribute them. Why? So that everyone will be catered with their special abilities. Magtuturo sila. Saka na ang kagrupo. Okay? Alam naman dadali mo yung ino, dadali mo yung isang grupo, puro magagaling sila, tapos paano naman yung iba. There would always be variations of grades, of course, of scores, if that's the case. So, if it's a group activity, be sure to form a small group discussions or small groups of students with different learning styles and different cultural backgrounds. You have to distribute them. No? Distribute our students in a group where they could, they could learn, they could teach, and they could participate well. Okay. The concept of diversity encompasses acceptance and respect. It means understanding that each individual is unique and recognizing our individual. So, no matter how we understand student diversity, if we, if we do not accept the concept that diversity encompasses acceptance and respect, then everything would be in vain. So, number one here is, you have to learn to embrace first the concept of diversity, which means acceptance and respect. Okay. 
it means also understanding each individual is unique. No, unique siya eh. Kakaiba siya kasi unique siya. So, you have to embrace him kasi kakaiba siya, pero that is diversity. Okay, here comes a guy. Here comes a gay in a classroom. Haba ng buhok. Tapos naka-cross-dress. What should you do? Are you going to reject that because she is not a normal being? Or you have to respect? You have to accept. And you have to, um, what they call this one, consider it as a uniqueness. And you have to recognize an individual. We are individually different no? from each other. So you have to accept it. Okay? And in order to accept the fact that we are different, you have to start respecting individual differences. That is the key word. No? Key word is respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T If you do not know how to respect, then you do not know how to embrace. If you do not know how to respect, then you do not know how to accept. And if you do not know how to accept, you cannot understand the individual differences. And if you cannot understand each differences, then you cannot make a classroom worth it. Okay? You cannot develop students who are ready to serve the community. You cannot develop students who are ready to serve the country. You cannot develop professionals who are humane and kind. Why? Because it never started in your class. The, the, the concept of respect and acceptance did not start in your class. So, students' diversity would allow us to show acceptance and inclusivity. Okay? You accept and then include them. As a teacher, you have to be very careful. No. You have to be very careful. It should start within you as a teacher. So that if they look at you, the, the students will look at you. Oh, si ma'am, uh, isinasali niya lahat. Si ma'am accepted lahat sa classroom niya at lahat nabibigyan ng opportunity. Then they will do it also. Remember, you are duplicating yourself as a teacher. Nagduduplicate ka. Okay. So, it says here that the fact that we are alive is enough for us to be respected. Alright? Okay. Buhay tayo. Yung katotohanan na meron tayong buhay ay ibig sabihin kailangan tayong irespeto at kailangan mo ring irespeto ang iba. Habang buhay yan, irespeto mo. Kung alak nga, di ba? Sabi, sabi ng iba, manginginom. Irespeto nyo naman yung alak, wag nyong sayangin. Yun nga, nirerespeto mo, yung buhay pa kaya. Yung individual pa kaya, na classmate mo, hindi mo ka irespeto. And in order to do it, you have to start within. Another one. If you can't respect, don't even open your mouth. So in a classroom, if you can't respect that individual coming from a certain culture, acting weird sa paningin mo, do not open your mouth. If you have no good things to say, then zip your mouth. Remember, if you can't respect, then better shut up. Okay? You might hurt that individual. So, to avoid hurting some people who are who are special, okay, who are coming from different race, cultures, okay, who are exceptionally different, who are exceptionally special, then you just keep quiet. No? And in the process, I know that you will learn to accept them. You will learn to understand them. And at the end of the day, you will respect that no two individuals are exactly the same. That we are coming from different races, languages, etc., etc. So, we are different from each other. And we are unique. That difference becomes our uniqueness. And you have to accept it. Embrace and respect. That's according to RM, Kim Namjoon, okay? the leader of the boy band BTS. Okay. So again, if you can't respect, don't even open your mouth. So as a future teachers, I repeat, you have to learn the concept of inclusivity. Include everyone, no matter who they are, no matter where they're from, their race, their ethnicity, their age, their gender preference, you have to accept them or include them. That is what you call 
inclusivity. That is the answer actually of the issue on uh, diversity. So, if you understand it better, then you can do it better. I trust you guys that if you set your foot in an actual classroom, you will remember that one day or one time you have listened to this lecture and you have learned a fact that diversity would should enrich your classroom and it should not divide it it should not uh bring 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 chaos in your classroom but it should enrich your teaching and learning ability okay so that's all for this afternoon i hope that you have learned something from this video until our next video guys keep safe always i'll see you thank you so much